Putin regards the current West as decadent to the point of absolute untrustworthiness, particularly on the cultural and religious front. Разве мы хотим, чтобы в наших школах с начальных классов детям навязывали извращения, которые ведут к деградации и вымиранию? Putin constantly tells his people that he sees us falling far too far under the sway of ideas very similar to those that produced the revolutionary frenzy of the communist movement. I want to see workers have a say in the jobs that they do and not simply be treated as cogs in a machine, expendable. Coal companies have so much money, they extract all the wealth from the state and don't reinvest anything. There has to be more regulation, there has to be like a vision for the future in which the people who work are valued higher than they are now. We should not be giving any more tax breaks to large corporations. <laughs> the kids are getting radical, at least compared to older voters. Among Americans 18 to 34, socialism is viewed more positively than capitalism. And whether he believes this or not, and I believe he does, he is certainly able and willing to use the story of our degeneration to make his people wary of us and to convince them of the necessity of his leadership and to unite them in supporting his actions in Ukraine. So we вдалбливали, что кроме женщины и мужчины, як существуют ещё некие гендеры. И предлагали сделать операцию по смене пола. Но разве мы всё этого хотим для своей страны и для своих детей? Для нас всё это неприемлемо. У нас другое, своё будущее. Повторю, диктатура западных элит направлена против такое полное отрицание человека, неспровержение веры и традиционных ценностей. Подавление свободы приобретает черты религии наоборот, откровенного сатанизма. How does this war end, do you think? We're going to find out this winter. Well, I, I, I know what I would do in his shoes. Mm -hmm. I'd wait till the first cold snap and shut off the taps. Right. Well, because of course he has, he's going to do that. He's got the control over the energy. Well, of, of course he's going to do that. He's already warned the West with his insistence that maintenance problems were necessary and the pipelines had to be shut down. Do you think he will... The uh, pressure on Europe to adapt to these soaring energy prices uh, really keeps increasing, especially with uh, Russia saying it w won't turn on supply of natural gas on its Nord Stream 1 pipeline until sanctions are lifted. There seems to be no respite ahead after the Kremlin-controlled energy giant Gazprom announced it would indefinitely halt gas exports to Europe on Sunday. Have we been paying attention to what Putin's men have been saying about the UK? To take a single example? A Russian TV host recently boasted that a single Saramat missile would be sufficient to destroy Britain once and for all. Вообще на британских островах, похоже, заговаривается. Зачем грозить ядерным оружием бескрайней России, сидя на, в общем-то, маленьком острове? Остров столь мал, что лишь одной ракеты Сарман достаточно, чтобы его утопить раз и навсегда. Все уже подсчитано. Perhaps I might end this litany of warnings and woe with a story. Putin had an encounter with an angry and desperate rodent when he was young. There were hordes of rats in the front entryway. My friends and I used to chase them around with sticks. Once I spotted a huge rat and pursued it down the hall until I drove it into a corner. It had nowhere to run. Suddenly it lashed around and threw itself at me. Now the rat was chasing me. Now, 
Putin is not a rat, and we are not children tormenting rats with sticks, or at least we shouldn't be.